Hello dear traders, it's Petko Alexander from EA Forex Academy and I will continue now with uh, the generation of the strategies with Expert Advisor Studio, the strategy builder that we are using currently. What I have done in the previous lecture, I have imported the history data from the MetaTrader. If I go to data import, you will see that I have imported Pepperstone Demo 01. This is the server. So this is the broker's data from the server. Where is our demo account with the Bitcoin, the Dash, the Ethereum and the Litecoin. And now if I go to generator, you will see that as a history data, data source, I have Pepperstone 01. And if I choose the drop down menu, you will see I have the Bitcoin, the Dash, the Ethereum and the Litecoin. OK, so now we are ready to work. What is the generator? Simply the generator, guys, is an automated process which based on the history data we have imported in the strategy builder will generate for us strategies and we can after that export these strategies as expert advisors or robots and place them on the trading platform and they will trade automatically. Now what will happen, I will go quickly over the menu in EA Studio. What will happen after the generator starts working? It will put the profitable strategies into a collection. Now with the collection, we have many filters that we can add and we will see here the strategies. After that, we can open each strategy right over here into a strategy. And the nice thing here is that if you have already some strategy, some existing strategy, if you found any strategy over internet, someone shared it with you and so on, you can immediately see if this strategy is working profitably or not. And this is very important because this saves us so much time. Okay, let me just quickly show you what I mean. Pure example here, guys. So for example, if I choose Pepperstone, let's say randomly I take the dash. Okay, this is the time frame on H1 hour. And you will see here, I have the history data from 2017, 29 of June uh, till today. This is the spread and here what we have is the strategy. So here you can add a stop loss and a take profit if you have into your strategy and here you add the entry and the exit conditions. So you see here is selected long entry. This means that we put entry conditions for buy. OK, so for example, let's take randomly the moving average that I have showed you in the first lecture in this section about the indicators period of 21. Let's make it and you see here are the conditions. So moving average rises, moving average falls, the bar opens above moving average. So if the bar opens above the moving average, it means it was below the moving average and it will open above it. It means there is a cross of the moving average and I click on accept and you will see what is the result. It's a total loss. So even I put more indicators, randomly indicators chosen, for example, let's take the MACD and I select MACD line rises. I click on accept. You will see the strategy is still losing. And this is very important, guys, because if you have any strategy using indicators, normally what people do, they put this strategy on a demo account. They test it for one month, two months until they realize actually the strategy is losing and they start changing parameters. So for example, they try with 15 and they try with 10 and they look in YouTube, people trying with different and they change it and change it and never ever actually having any profits or some good trade, some bad trade and they leave frustrated. Now the idea here is that you see the result immediately. Just on the moment I see the strategy is losing and I don't want to use it. OK, so here, if you have any ready strategy, if you want to test a strategy, you put your entry conditions, you put your stop loss, you put your exit conditions and you will see the results immediately. Now, for every strategy, there is the optimizer. This means that I can optimize the strategy inputs OK, and this actually means that the strategy builder will find better parameters for these indicators. 
the other thing is the Monte Carlo which is a test for robustness we have multi market so here we can test if this strategy is working on another strategies on the other markets like the Bitcoin, the Ethereum and the Litecoin. And here is the report of the strategies, all the statistics that we have, the next balance, maximum drown down, the biggest loss in percentage, return to drown down ratio, count of trades, how many trades we have, ambiguous bars and so on and so on. Guys, I'm not going into deep details about the strategy builder. Simply this is a little bit advanced and I have a couple of courses actually about algorithmic trading and how you need to use exactly the EA Studio. But here I want to show you a brief presentation so you will have an idea at the end of the course. What is algorithmic trading? What are the strategy builders and how we create strategies? All right. So one more time here we have many tests for each strategy. And the last thing on the menu here is the portfolio. This is the very innovative thing here in EA Studio, something that is not available with the other strategy builders. Here you can trade many strategies in one robot. Okay, so many strategies you can put it on the MetaTrader and they will trade for you automatically. Now, if I go to the generator and this strategy that I had it, I will just remove it from the collection. I will go back to the generator now and I will show you how I am using the generator to generate strategies for me. So for example, I will choose Pepperstone Bitcoin H1. This is on H1 chart and I will go to strategy properties. So here is the entry lot that we want to enter. Let's say we want to go with 0.1. I choose whether I want to use a stop loss or take profit. If I select always use, this means I want always to have a stop loss and a take profit. And the other options is may use. So I will leave it on the software to decide whether to use a stop loss or a take profit and do not use Obviously, I don't want to use stop losses or take profits, okay? So now I will choose always use. And since the spread is $100 with the Bitcoin, okay? I will need to write 10,000 have a pips. So here is uh, the point, okay? Just uh, before the last two. And I will give it a little bit bigger range here. The idea here, I don't want to limit with any criteria the strategy builder but to give it a huge range to find more strategies. Now the generator settings is where we choose the working minutes. How long time the generator will generate strategies for us. Normally what I do guys I set it approximately to 8-9 hours simply at the end of the working day I set the generator working and in the morning when I'm in the office I have ready strategies, ready collections and simply the generator is working while I am sleeping. So here what I will choose I will leave it for example to 500 minutes and here I will select search best. This is the criteria that we want to arrange our strategies. Net balance obviously is the most important which strategy makes the most profit. In sample and out of sample I'm not using this one at the moment. I'm not going into details about it. The strategies fulfill the acceptance criteria. So what is the acceptance criteria? We can add many things to the acceptance criteria but the basic is how many ambiguous bars you would like to have. Basically these are the false bars from the MetaTrader. There are some bars where the software cannot decide for example, you see these huge bars with the Bitcoin and if we have some entry or exit conditions in such huge bar, we don't know exactly what happened inside this day, when the price went up, when it went low. What we know are the four values, the open, the high, the low and the close. But for example, if we enter in the middle, then we have stop loss, then we have a take profit if we were selling, for example. The software doesn't know exactly what happened 
during this day where the price went first did it went higher did it went lower and this is especially on the daily chart that's why we do the strategies normally on h1 and h4 sometimes on m30 but very rarely on d1 to avoid exactly these ambiguous bars because on the hourly chart we have less ambiguous bars okay so let's call it simply these are the false bars where the program cannot decide what happened during this bar and especially on the higher time frames the next thing is the minimum net profit how much minimum net profit we want to have so let's say for example hundred dollars and what minimum count of trades we would like to have 50 i will just leave it this way so here you can add some more criteria if you want to the strategy and what this means if i go back to the generator that it will show only strategies that fulfill the acceptance criteria now if i click on start you will see here the speed of the software it's really really quick guys these are the calculated strategies and you see already i have some strategies into my collection if i go to collection you will see here that i have one strategy into the collection only but here is written eight now i have two why is that this is because i have here these filters past strategies two out of the eight for example i have selected two strategies filters that i would like to have maximum equity drawn down of five percent if i just remove that and i remove this minimum profit factor as well you will see i see all the strategies into the collection and they are arranging by the profit you see the first strategy made 750 dollars and then we have the others going down so from here i can add some filters maximum biggest bar but we have this in the acceptance criteria the maximum balance deviation maximum consecutive losses count of trades equity drawn down this is the thing i was setting to five percent so you see here from 31 strategies i have only 10 shown which were having a less than five percent equity drawn down during the whole period and as well you can add too many filters here guys profit factor as well i prefer to stay at 1.2 i prefer to stay at 1.5 even and not only two so i have a bigger profit factor now the other filter that i normally use here is maximum consecutive losses so normally i don't want to have more than 10 consecutive losses see for example if i place 20 i will have more strategies into the collection seven out of the 70 if i place 10 they will go lower and if i place 15 you will see that i have only seven and if i place five for example you see only one strategy will pass so i will leave it to 10 and what i will do now guys i will leave this generator working for the whole night and tomorrow i will continue recording the course i will leave it for 500 minutes to work and to generate strategies for me as you can see the expert advisor studio generated more than 11,000 strategies into the collection are 96 but because of the filters i see only seven strategies over here and tomorrow i will continue and i will show you how i am actually exporting each strategy into an expert advisor and how to place it on metatrader for trading now if i click on each strategy you can see here are the entry rules the stop loss and the take profit we have the awesome oscillator the rvi signal moving average crossover just what i was showing you as an example but here is actually an exit condition and if i click over the chart you can see the indicators and you can see exactly where the trades happened where there was the entry where was the exit for all of the periods and for each strategy you have the indicator chart the balance chart the equity and you have the journal so here are the actual trades that happened during this period of time and here we have all the statistics for each strategy net balance maximum drawdown 
return to drawdown ratio, count of trades, the biggest bars, profit per day on an average basis, win to loss ratio, sharper ratio and so on, so many things that I'm not going into details. But the idea here guys is that we do this automatically, okay? The Expert Advisor Studio calculates for us the strategies, we just need to set up the inputs that we want, the criteria that we want and it's very important that these strategies are created over the same server where I will be trading and they're using the same history data. The very nice thing with EA Studio, since it's a web-based program, is that during the same time while I am generating these strategies for the Bitcoin, I can open a new page and I will go again to EA Studio. But the important thing here is to make it on a separate browser because this way EA Studio works faster. I will just log in here as well and I will do the same generation for the other cryptocurrency. So I will do it with the dash now also for h1 chart and then i will go to strategy properties here 0.1 and so let's see how much was the spread with the dash so if i go to strategy and i select it you will see it here the dash it's 1100 so i go back to the generator i always put the minimum as spread and here i just give it a bigger range so I will use this as minimum as well for the take profit. The generator settings also 500 minutes here. Let's see the acceptance criteria. We said we want minimum $100 of profit for our strategies. And that's it pretty much. I click on start and now the generator will start creating strategies. Now I will open in one more browser, another EA Studio and I will run there for the ethereum and i will run as well for the litecoin okay so i'm going to my account login i go to the generator and let's see first how much was the spread so from here i choose pepperstone demo one and here i choose ethereum the spread was 700 go to generator i choose the wanted cryptocurrency so i'm going to ethereum i select h1 as well and I'm going to strategy properties, entry lot 0.1 again, I will enter. I will put minimum of 700, as I said, this is the spread. Another bigger number here and then 700 here. The acceptance criteria, 500 minutes. Let me see here, I will put it again, minimum net profit of $100, generator and I click on start. Okay, and the last one I will go for and I will open one more browser, the last cryptocurrency. Okay, I go to EA Studio, I will just uh, quickly log in and I am going to the generator and first let's see again the spread. We go to strategy, I choose the broker server and I choose the Litecoin. So here I have 500 as a spread, I'm going to generator. 500 is five dollars guys okay because this is in pips to make it sure i am clear pepperstone demo zero one and i'm going to litecoin and i'm going to h1 again strategy properties so the minimum is the spread here is exactly like that i will give a little bit bigger range again i will go to 0 0.1 the strategy properties here i will go for 500 minutes again and acceptance criteria, I would like to have minimum of $100. I am going to generator, I click on start and now I have these four generators as you can see working over here guys and I will leave them over the night. So tomorrow morning what I will have, I will have ready strategies into the collection already hundreds of strategies these are different strategies what we do after that we select the best ones and we place them on a demo account for trading and after that we follow their performance i will show you how we follow the performance of the expert advisors guys and we place on a separate life account only the best expert advisors. So simply this way, we automate the whole process and we use these strategy builders 
in order to create for us hundreds of strategies on a realistic backtested result. So anyway guys this process would be impossible if we don't have these strategy builders because even we have some strategies for manual trading there are not so many and their result it's very hard to be back tested and actually to automate this whole process takes so much time if I use for example developers because I was using this system for a long time I was giving strategies to developers to automate my strategies obviously this was horrible process it was taking so much time and so much money because one strategy one simple strategy like this one to be automated by a developer that would cost somewhere around 200 to 300 dollars guys depending on the entry conditions they charge you even more and they take so much money obviously in the code of the expert advisor of the robot it's very possible to have mistakes so with the strategy builders we eliminate the mistakes and we are sure into the code and obviously guys this gives us the opportunity to trade portfolio of different strategies so for example what i will do i will select the best three strategies from the bitcoin the best three strategies from the ethereum the light and the dash and I will have 12 different strategies on four different cryptocurrencies and I will place them in one and the same trading account which will give me a good diversification of the risk. Okay, so I will not put all the risk into one strategy, into one expert advisor, into one cryptocurrency, but I will divide the risk, I will diversify the risk. So this is pretty much about it there are free videos over internet how to use EA studio there are free materials so that's why I'm not going into details guys in the help of the EA studio there is so much more information about each one section I just showed you the very basic so you can have an idea what are the strategy builders how we create strategies hundreds of strategies actually thousands of strategies because you see here I have already just 3% from the progress and I have nearly 30,000 strategies calculated into the collection I see always the top 100 and with the filters that I'm using at the current moment I see only 19 strategies so I will continue the videos tomorrow and I will show you how I export these strategies and how I put them on MetaTrader for trading. Thank you guys for watching. Wish you always have a great day. Cheers. Bye.